Hi, boys and girls, it is Mrs. Gallagher, and today we are going to be learning about butterflies. It is springtime, and usually in the spring, Mrs. Cruiser and I do a unit on butterflies, so we thought this would be a good day to read you a story called Are You a Butterfly? by Judy Allen and Tudor Humphreys. Are you a butterfly? If you are, your parents look like this. You start your life in an egg like this. See the egg? Super tiny on a leaf. As soon as you are strong enough, break out of it. You do not look like your mother or father. You are a, what is that? caterpillar. You have 16 legs, a hairy back with tiny breathing holes in it, and very small eyes. You have no nose, but you do have a mouth. So eat. Eat whatever you are standing on. Your mother laid your egg on a delicious leaf. Grip the leaf with your legs to hold it steady. Then eat it. Now, eat the next leaf. Yeah, cool picture. Eat every leaf you can reach. Then move to another bunch of leaves and eat them too. You grow bigger and bigger. Eat more. You feel full. You feel so full you think you are going to burst. You are right. You are going to burst. Boys and girls, have you ever seen leaves on a tree that look like that? Now you know that a caterpillar was probably munching on them. Before you burst, glue yourself onto a leaf or a stem so you won't fall off. Your skin will split all the way down your back. Look at that. Don't panic, this is normal. Climb out of your old skin. You may have to wriggle around a bit to do this. As you eat and grow, you will have to climb out of your skin two or three more times. One day, you will feel funny. It is time to find somewhere safe and glue yourself to it. You are going to make a chrysalis. You may not be able to spell it, but you will be able to do it. You will change while you are in your chrysalis. You will change a lot. You will grow six legs instead of 16. You will grow large eyes instead of small eyes. You will grow long feelers on your head. You will grow wings. When you have done all of these things, Break out of your chrysalis. Look. Your wings are crumpled. They look terrible. Don't worry. Hang upside down from your chrysalis. Slowly, slowly, your wings will stretch. The creases will all go away. Use the long feelers on your head to smell flowers. See those? That's how he smells the flowers. Use your long tongue to drink nectar from the hearts of the flowers. Use your wings to fly. However, if you look a little like this, or this, or this, you are not a butterfly. You are not even a caterpillar. You are a human child. You have no wings. You can't fly. It is most unlikely that you have long feelers growing out of the top of your head. I don't think any of us have antennas, huh? But you can do a lot of things that butterflies can't do. 
You will never have to make a chrysalis and you will never, ever, ever have to eat so much that your skin splits. And that's the end. Here's some facts at the end of the book that I want to share with you. Did you know if a human baby grew as fast as a caterpillar, it would weigh about eight tons when it was only two weeks old? Those caterpillars grow really fast. Did you know there are about 15,000 different kinds of butterflies in the world? Did you know the Queen Alexandra butterfly of Papua New Guinea is the largest in the world? When its wings are spread out, it measures 11 inches across. Did you know butterfly wings are covered with thousands of tiny, brightly colored scales? Never touch a butterfly's wings. They are easily damaged, and if the butterfly can't fly anymore, it will die. That's just, that was really interesting. And that is the end. I thought that was a really cool book. And now stay tuned because we are going to do a directed drawing. And I think you probably can guess what it's going to be.